Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is the one month update of my hair transplant. I don't know why I'm so excited because girls, nothing, I'm, well, guys or girls, whoever, it's nothing major that's happened. Uh, so I will, like I've done all the rest of my videos, I will add it from the beginning all the way up until now throughout the video. Uh, but today is the one month update. It's been a month. So in two, two to three months, I should start seeing some little sprouts or whatever. But uh, let me just give you guys the up close. All of the hair has fallen out. I'm back to where I was. So this is thin right here. And this is thin right here again. And my hairline is just all choppy. So, you know, there's really not a hairline. Um, a little hair is still be falling out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But yeah. So all the hair up there has fallen out. So now I guess it's just a, the process of, um, you know, starting to grow back the hair. Um, but let me show you guys my donor area. My donor area looks pretty good. You can't even tell that it was ever, you know, that I ever got anything done. Really, to me, my donor area looks pretty good. Uh, so. It, so me going back to do a second round, getting my crown, I'm kind of scared because, you know, when you do your donor area, all of this does not, like when they pull their hair out, that does not grow back. <laughs> That's now just a missing spot of hair. So going back, you know, I'm kind of skeptical because I don't, you know, want it to be so thin back there. There's just, you know what I mean? And I, you know, but I, I could do, um, uh, they could like get this, like, cause I don't think I need that many for this. I'll probably need like 500 wraps. So they probably could pull that underneath here. Just have me grow this out and then they could do my beard. I would want that to be an option. Uh, but when I go back, I don't know if I'm going to, like I've said in past videos, I don't know if I'm going to go to hair in Istanbul or if I'll go back to Bobley. Uh, I don't know. But, you know, now it's literally been a month. I can't believe it. So now we're just on the journey to have the hair uh, grow in. I think that I may actually go back for a second round because um, I know my hairline is, it, it's where this little piece is right here. And my scar was covered completely. When they did it, it was a little piece of my scar hanging out. So I would want them to just, you know, really just do a small strip here and then just do my crown area so I could talk to uh, whoever. I don't know, I've heard from people and that have went to hair in Istanbul that has said there is a language barrier, you know, telling them what you want done and they, you know, not fully understand. So they end up just doing what they think you said you wanted. And it's just, you know, I, so I would have to make sure that I have a Google translator or, or go with a translator or something to make sure what I want is appropriately translated so but that'll be maybe a year or two down the year a year and a half or two down the line um but so far you know now it's just the problem like I, i've been taking my hair affinity pills every single day still um i haven't been i still wash my hair with the shampoo they gave me the shampoo's almost gone um but i haven't started using any oils or anything as of yet i wanted to give it probably another two weeks or two months like the end of um yeah the end of the end is uh, the end of this month or middle of december and then you know two months in i'll start using uh the black castor oil for my crown area again but like i stated in my crown area in my the hair in my crown area area never has fallen out it's always been thin there like it's always been thin right here so uh it's not much i can do about this besides getting a hair transplant but it's always been thin in this area um but at least you know my hairline will be fixed in a couple few months so we'll see how that goes i like i said i'll keep you guys updated doing weekly updates just so you know you can see the process with me as soon as some sprouts start to sprout i will you know you'll see them in that weekly update but i don't want to keep you guys too long you know there's still some uh transplanted hairs there um but you know i don't want to keep you guys too much longer there's nothing else really to talk about um but thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey um i appreciate you pray for me because you know this is something scary sometimes it doesn't work on everybody so 
I'm praying that it works for me. Uh, but I will catch you guys in next week's video. So that'll be a month and a week update. And yeah, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below and let me know if you're excited for this journey. You know what I mean? If you're thinking about it, if you have any questions, just comment anything down below and I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you guys may have. Uh, but like I said, subscribe to my channel, comment down below and like this video. Let other people see the black community because there's not a lot of black men. Well, nowadays there's more and more black men that are getting hair transplant, but hair transplant, but I don't want to keep talking. I will catch you guys in the next week's video. Bye.